Welcome back everybody. Today I just wanted to take you to one of these guys. These guys have been busy. Um, how many days have you been building this base for, guys? Four. We started on the first night of the new patch. Started on the first night of the new patch. How many people are there in your faction? Uh, primarily four. There's a few more who've been on and off, but uh, most for the most part it's been four of us. Uh, uh, plus nine, Cowman, Chicken Wild Style, and Captain Sai. Captain Sai. Very nice. And so this is your home base. So it's primarily just a dock, isn't it? Most of it is just docking. Right. That's all it needs to be for now because it's invulnerable. Um, you know, the, the nice thing about your first station is as long as you've got it set to home base, it doesn't need shielding. So you can really save on material there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And uh, obviously we don't use enhancers. That saves a bit too. But let's take a look at your your little factory here. So we're gonna go uh, So this has been our pride and joy. We started on uh, one planet that we searched out as many uh, as many kind of different uh, material types as we could, and we found a planet with pretty much everything except for Nox and Noct, I think. So we had to do a little bit of extra searching eventually to find those, but uh, you know, put put a lot of things into building enhancers if you step outside here where I am, you can see how far down and how large these enhancers are for our standard uh, and advanced factories and the capsule refinery. So it, it, it really pays having a, a, an efficient factory in addition to just sort of like having one of everything. It, it, those enhancers are really worth, worth it. So look at these enhancers then. Where are they? Outside. Oh, I it's see these big, Yeah, these big waffles coming down. Big I see what you've plates. done. Those yeah. are all enhancers, each for the different types of factories above, which are what really open up your ability to manufacture this block or that block. Yeah. Also, something that we took into account was that we have separated them so that if we want to have more processing power for a single one, we can go into build mode and then we can just connect another group of them. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, Very well, nice. yeah, we, and we should definitely say that um, one thing that has made this successful is that in addition to having, you know, not just having to do everything yourself, like do all the salvaging, building the factory, you know, usually there's one or two of us off salvaging, I'm off scouting a, scouting for a shop that still has money, uh, you know, captains working on the factory and actually running the factory and making the stuff that we want to need, and then we've still got two people left over to be gathering more resources while we do it, so being able to divide up your labor a little bit and and do that stuff has been very very handy nice and so how easy has it been to actually obtain the bits that you need with the new system well some, some of them have been easy but others have been really hard for example a hard end hole which is meant to be really hard to get we understand that but the amount of resources to make a bunch of it to get money has been really hard. Well, I don't necessarily, and, th yeah. Yeah. But we also we also thing, noticed that the trading guild was like adjusting prices based on what was getting sold to them and yeah. what people were buying out of shops too, right? So That's when true. we noticed how many people were buying warp gates because everybody wants to make a warp gate, mm -hmm. uh, we Switched specifically production. went out and, and searched out that knocked crystal and made as many warp gate modules as we could and we made a really tidy sum off of that see that's that's what i'm talking about finding out what the players want producing what they want and then selling them that's the way to make money you can't just say oh you just need to sell ice crystal to the shop or no just, that doesn't work anymore not, because the prices and that the trading guild sets are adjusted based on who's buying what yeah which yeah, completely changed. changes the way that you make money in the game and in, totally it highlights why it's good to get in with a faction that's a active industrially. Oh, we also, uh, we also started off with zero credits. We, we put all our credits in a box and ditched them. So this is all legit? Mm -hmm. yes. this, is, this is all starting Space Race style. Very yes, nice. We kept the, uh, with the exception of Chicken's ship. Yeah, yeah, well, the, a few of the ships, because obviously we have an interesting thing, we allow ships to come in on lineup, so many of these ships would have just been brought in through that system. So they've come in for review, like this one up here, and then he's allowed to keep it. So doesn't mean he gets to keep it permanently, though. <laughs> Not if someone destroys it. Not if someone blows it up, so make sure you keep it docked. But yeah. Keep it away from it, Tamino. All right, Keep guys. So it. basically, yeah, thanks for showing me your base. I'm going to head over to the lineup now. So thanks again, and I'll see you all next time.